Hi, um, so today I'm going to try to install the Phoenix OS alongside my Arch Linux and Remix OS. Earlier today I was in or I have installed the 64-bit version, but every time I try to boot my computer and um, boot from, from that Phoenix OS, now my computer usually shuts down. So I guess it's it's because my computer is old, it's uh it's it's from 2009. So now I'm gonna try to install 32-bit. I already have downloaded the the 32-bit, and I have added that into my Phoenix folder. So yeah, for for me to start uh, start the installation, what I want to do is now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. So what I'm what I'm what I want to do is to create a folder mount. So the reason why I'm creating a folder called mount is that. Um, I want to extract everything from this ISO file and um, add all the files into my mount folder. That way I can copy every file that I need. So let me just do that. So first I want to get into my Phoenix folder and I'm gonna mount I'm gonna mount the Phoenix OS which is the 32 bit. It's this one. So 8. I'm gonna mount that to the mount folder I have just created. All right. Now, if if I check the content of mount, it should have everything that I need. Well, of course, it's just supposed to be mount there. Now, next thing, because everything is on my mount mount folder, uh, what I want to do is to create a. Well, currently I don't have a Phoenix folder here in my home directory, or not not home, but on my root directory. Well, I want to create one, so I want to create mkdir. I'm gonna name that Phoenix. There. So, nope, that was wrong. There. So I have I have I have it here. So what I want to do is to copy everything from from the ISO file and um, paste it inside this Phoenix folder. For me to do that, um, what I want to do is to um, copy and um, let's ls um, now. Right. So what I want to do is to copy um, the initrd. Hmm. Well, let me let me get into the directory. Alright, the install. I want to copy the kernel as well. A RAM disk and system. And I want them to be inside my Phoenix. Permissions, I have to do suit over there. It's gonna take a while. The system.sfs is a bit huge. Alright. Now, after I copy those files, I want to copy the EFI and ISO um, ISO Linux folders too. So I want to do sudo copy minus r EFI and ISO Linux. I'm gonna I, w I want them to be on MFinix folder too. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Now let's check the Phoenix folder, right? So everything is there, and well, basically that's it. Uh, the 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 um, the Phoenix OS in, is is part of the system now. So, what um the next thing that we want to do is to um update our bootloader, um grub bootloader, uh, for 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 us to be able to choose which system we um we we want to boot. So first first to do that, we want to go to um. I want to go to nano. Um, I'm going to use nano. So we're going to go to Etsy grub. Hmm. Okay. So 40. Right. Now, as you can see, I already have it because earlier again I have tried installing um, Phoenix OS using the 64 bit. But now I'm going to use the 32 bit. So I don't really need to change everything. Now, if you don't have this, you, you just have to copy it or um, you pause the video and. Um, copy this from from Phoenix or this is for Phoenix and um, save that right so let's let's save that well anyway it's been saved earlier and after we do that what we want to do is to um, 
we want to update grub okay um so boot grub and grub dot con right so we're going to update this file that way if we reboot our system the phoenix os should be part of the bootloader so let's press enter there right so again it's asking to to to, to go and root right so that's it um now after that now everything should work now i'm going to restart my computer and uh, i'm going to use my 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 other camera to um uh to capture what's going to happen so now my computer um rebooted and we can i'm not sure if you can see it but we have the arch linux remix and um phoenix now earlier I only have Arch Linux and Remix. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna boot from from Phoenix, and this is what you'd be able to see. Right now, that took three minutes to to load, and I guess it's gonna load, you know, a lot faster if you're using a newer hardware. So this is after, or yeah, it's it's um, this means that it's been successfully installed. Now I want to use English and user license agreement. We we agree, and that's gonna be Wi-Fi. Alright, so it's connected. We press next. Alright, so this is it. Now, this is the Phoenix OS. So that's it. Uh, I guess that's how you, you, um, that's how you, you install Phoenix alongside Linux and uh, Remix.